Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Today is going to be the first episode of what's probably going to be the most difficult thing you need to do in Pokemon Stadium 2 if you want to beat this game. Not a whole lot of people are a big fan of the random aspect of the Challenge Cup. And because of that, a lot of people consider this the most difficult thing in the game. But it is what we're going to be tackling today, hopefully. <laughs> Because even I must admit, it is indeed very difficult. There are two cups cleared. The ones here on the right, the top right and the right. The Little and Poke Cup. Four trophies for the Poke Cup, one for the Little Cup. The Prime Cup is going to be the finale for this uh, project. The Level 100 tournament is going to be the reveal of my A-team. But before any of my own Pokémon are actually back in the arena, we are going to try to win a tournament with Pokémon that the tournament is going to provide to us. <laughs> And we need to prove that we are able to actually handle them. This, of course, being the most difficult one so far. The levels are going to be higher than ever. The Pokémon are going to be stronger than ever. And more Pokémon than ever are going to be available for pick. And it's time to actually see how well Master Ball is going to end. Am I going to need more tries yet again? On Ultra Ball, I was um, forced to start over at some point, so... <laughs> First, let's go see what we get. Well, the Pokémon look cool. <laughs> we get a Blastoise, a Jolteon, even a Steelix. Megahorn is a good move to have as a Bug-type. I'm agreeing on this Heracross. Satu, awesome, has Psychic. Peck is a little bit less, but at least he has a Flying-type move. Hydro Pump and Icy Wind. Okay, Icy Wind's not per se the most strong move, but... Hydro Pump is a good Water-type move. Better than Water Gun. <laughs> Thunder, good move on Jolteon. Toxic is also pretty handy to have. Bite and Shadow Ball are a bit weaker. Steelix. Okay, you do have a Ground-type move. Pretty good one, even, with Dig. So it looks like you are a very useful Ground-type. Not per se as a Steel-type. <laughs> Fire Blasts, along with Sunny Day for Arcanine. Okay, um... We've got a pretty balanced out team. Also with a couple of pretty good moves. Let's start with Arcanine and Jolteon. There's a lot of bugs here. The Crobat and the Cloyster are of course weak against electric types. Let's finish with Xatu. Just because you have Xatu too. <laughs> Time for us to begin. Your patience is about to be rewarded. Pokemon Tournament Challenge Cup Master Ball. The opening rows are about to be exchanged in a furious battle between level 75 Pokemon. Yeah, that's the highest level we've seen so far in this game. Level 75. Time for us to do some damage with that. Fire Blast this bug, which is also steel, and is therefore not going to survive. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Take it down with one hit. That was just too quick. Learned that in the Pokemon Academy. Scissor is bug and steel, and therefore very weak against fire. <laughs> oh, it's Crobat! But now things will change up. Crobat, not weak against fire. However, we can still do damage this with that. Fly. Yeah. That was predictable. Tempting to switch to Xatu, but let's not. Let's input Sunny Day. I can take a fly. <laughs> What's this? A light hit. Yeah, I kind of expected that. The sunlight has turned dark. Sunlight is strong. A hot battle is on. I can assume you're going to try to fly again. I will just input takedown. Yeah, predictable. That's probably the best you have against me. What now? Oops, that missed. Now, Fire Blast. It's going to be even more powerful now. <laughs> What's that? That was a glancing blow. If this hits, you're in trouble, sir. There's the shot. A heavy hit. Bam. Sunny day Fire Blast combo. Goodbye. <laughs> 
way of stopping this incredible Pokemon force. Does not look like it. Oh, it's Scyther. Oh, you've got Scyther. Technically, now. a better Pokemon to use against Fire type than the Scizor. Scyther is not a Steel type after all. So, <laughs> however, because of the sunny day, this is still going to be really painful for you. Will this do it? Out of there! And it's therefore out of there. That settles this matter. And there goes the battle. Awesome! My Arcanine, or at least the tournament's Arcanine that I can use, <laughs> is proving to be a very powerful one. Took down the Bugs easily, that is not a surprise, but was also able to beat the Crobat. And that is going to be a very valuable fire type. The rest I was not able to test out yet. We know how this Challenge Cup works by now. The rest of the opponents are going to have other weaknesses. They're going to be using other types and such. And this might give the next Pokémon another chance. And we will see if we stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of rock types now. Also ground, steel, a bit of poison. But the gist is going to be ground and rock. So we all know what works well against ground and rock. Looking at types that I have, I'm going to be picking Blastoise. And that already covers a lot of ground. Literally. <laughs> You've got an Aerodactyl and a Kabutops, so I can also input Jolteon. And as my third one, I will bring Arcanine. And those two I will select as my backup. So fun. I was able to use a Squirtle in one of the earlier tournaments when the levels were still lower. <laughs> and now we've got the fully evolved Turtle. I always love using Reptiles. <laughs> Um, Hydro Pump is a bit of a risky move, because it does tend to miss. Let's go try to see what Icy Wind will do. You're going to get started with the Ancient Power. What is the opening game? A light pass. This is not going to be super powerful, of course, but it might lower your speed. So there's a good thing about it. Now hopefully I'm going to be faster. That is going to make using Hydro Pump a bit more safe. Hopefully. <laughs> gotcha. Right, one Pokemon down. Aerodactyl. Next one, Ground Type. Ground Poison. Once again, I need to use Hydro Pump. What's this? Great hit! Please hit. Wow! A power! It did. Whoa! KO'd by one hit! Am I going to get that lucky again? <laughs> this has turned into a one Is your last Pokemon battle? also going to be weak against water? Oh, it's not! It will, actually. This is the last Pokemon! However, since I'm apparently not rocking in speed, you might take me out in your move. No, I'm faster. Oh. What will it do? Man, that and perhaps Hydro Pump would have been a good idea. Yes, <laughs> Lowering your speed was apparently not necessary. Hang on, Earthquake. Earthquake's going to hurt. Yes, it's a hit. Pretty painful, I know. <laughs> Alright, I've got more. I cannot use Jolteon, of course. They do still have Arcanine. Fire Blast. Another super strong move that has a tendency to miss sometimes. Although I'm pretty sure the chances are a bit bigger with Fire Blast. <laughs> Another Arcanine victory. You are definitely my best Pokémon, apparently. <laughs> However, Blastoise actually did most of the work. Was just not able to finish it off. It was pretty much a Blastoise victory, let's be honest. <laughs> and that makes two. Still time. Moving on to match number three. Sailor. This is asking for water Pokemon. 
Are we going to see Jolteon for the first time? Another Kabutops, by the way. <laughs> also a Blastoise on your side now. But all of these water types make it a no-brainer. We are going to put in Jolteon. Now, for the rest we need to be a bit more careful. One of your Pokémon is an M for us. My own electric type is not going to cut it, so I am going to bring along Steelix for the first time. Sounds like a good idea. The Jinx is going to be a tad difficult. I'm tempted to use Arcanine again for that, actually, but... Arcanine is, of course, way too weak against most of the Pokémon that are going to be here. could actually go for Heracross for the Jinx, but... I think I will go for Xatu. Hopefully this is not going to come back to bite me. We've been blessed with a succession of hotly contested battles here in Pokemon Stadium. The roar of the crowd signals the start of the third round. Ah, evolution battle, let's go! <laughs> However, I am the electric type, so... You are not going to win this, Vaporeon. There it goes! Whoops, Unless I start missing. <laughs> There's the shot! Yeah, you've got it easier with your surf. Hit that one good. Let's try this again. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. There's the attack! Really now I've got you. Any more surfing? Yep. Yeah. A furious attack! Great Ow! Almost down already. Are both Pokémon running out of steam? Yeah, and whose fault do you think that is? <laughs> Hopefully this is going to be enough. It's fight! That's it! Oh, it's so loud! Bye, Eve. The first Eve, the Vaporeon. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the second that Eve. Will bring out a new Pokemon. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there's a second Eve. <laughs> oh, it's Ampharos! Oh, Ampharos. There's way too many water types in your team, so I'm going to there's assume the third one is still going to be one. I need to get Jolteon out of here. here comes a Pokemon Hopefully I can do one Thunder against the third Pokemon if necessary. <laughs> and in the oh, meantime we're going to use Steelix. To try to take down this electric type with ground type moves. What's this? Oh, Steel type does not care about normal type moves. What impact will this Dig. Pokemon switch have on the battle? Bye. <laughs> Pokemon is not a very big surprise. Pokemon. You will reveal your final Pokemon. Oh, it is Lapras. It dug its way underground. <laughs> Such a big Pokémon turning into the ground. Oh, that actually looks really weird. <laughs> big snake in the ground. <laughs> What's next? No, that's nice try. How's that? That was a Ooh, awesome. Blow. Did almost no damage. <laughs> Cannot really do anything else. Let's try strength. Go into so you're going to Hydro Pump me, help. Oh my, Thank you again. for missing. <laughs> what that? Uh, this is becoming a bit risky. Icy Wind I can still live with, but uh, Hydro the Pump is becoming a bit too scary. Time for me to actually go towards Jolteon and hopefully... The I'm going to be able to still get one move in. The Pokémon appears with a crop. Oh, it's already taken considerable damage. Yeah, I know, but Hyper Pump sometimes misses. But of course it does not now. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. I kept Jolteon alive for the water Pokemon after all. And that's going to make me input Xatu for the first time. What can you do? You know you have Psychic. That's pretty much the only thing you have. <laughs> Should be good enough. Like now, please keep me alive. Yeah, I know I'm a flying type, but Ice Wind is not too powerful. <laughs> There's the attack! Man, that worked perfectly! Oh, man! Oh, it's speed is that was down. a lot more than I expected. It's a fierce attack. Yes, I'm still faster than you. A psychic blast! Right, that 
Speeddown was a bit scary, I must admit. <laughs> But my speed was great enough. That actually could have turned out ugly. We've only got one more, but it's going to be full health. There's still work to do. Do some good damage. Yeah, if this hits, I'm out of here. Here it comes, thunder! It's super effective! There it is! Naka! The only plus side is, my final Pokémon is going to be strong against you. Just one Pokémon remains! If all you have is normal and electric type moves, then I don't have to this fear you. Is it's just a matter of time this until I win this match. Pokemon. Dig! It's just one on one now! Oh, you're going to try to play evasive. Then this might actually still take a while. <laughs> Because you're going to be able to input two of these. It's going to increase your evasion by quite a lot. They're both hanging tough. Yeah. Predictable strategy. And a quite annoying one. <laughs> it's concentrating on improving its This is going to take a while. There it goes! Because of oh, course I'm going to miss. The white hot battle continues. And there's nothing I can do about it. What now? It's not very effective. Oh, how much damage did that do? One or something? <laughs> It was barely visible on the HP bar. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. Yeah, you're not going to be able to beat me that way. Ah, it raised its evasiveness. He only has electric type moves and is going to be forced to use strength against me to hurt me. And how much damage will that do? 9 damage, come on. This is going to take forever before I fall. <laughs> At some point my dick is going to hit you. It is just annoying we have to wait for that. <laughs> the Whoop, that yeah, we know how it works. Now you're going to use strength again, because you're going to try to damage me now. Ooh, a critical. Now you're getting somewhere. <laughs> Another double team. Ah, it raised its evasiveness. Another dig. A and another miss. Oh, that's And that is uh, what we're going to be watching the next They're 10 minutes. In case you were wondering. <laughs> What now? You're looking at this video and you're wondering, hey, don't you always do four battles? Then why does this video take 14 minutes? <laughs> Well, because uh, this battle is non-stop of strength, double team, dig, miss, and then repeating that all over again. <laughs> It increased its evasiveness. There's the shot. Hey, there we go. Oh, and it doesn't even take about. <laughs> you know, I can also start using strength now. We'll actually start going faster a bit, I guess. It takes forever to hit this guy. I finally do, and he doesn't even fall. <laughs> no, that didn't connect. It's a fierce attack. Well, there's another 10 minutes of me trying to hit this guy. <laughs> there's the attack. Ah, that didn't do much. In the meantime, you've been able to hit me 12 times What already, and I barely have any damage. Oh, wow. again. <laughs> HP bar still in green. The heated action continues. Now it is strength over and over on both sides. <laughs> What will it do? That didn't accomplish much. Well, this is exciting. Oh, that missed too. A hot battle is unfolding. Hot battle. But you cannot really say What's it's an this? exciting one. Far from it, actually. <laughs> What about this? There we go. Pokemon. And there goes 
Double team is a move that should be forbidden for Pokémon who do not have a way to counter it. <laughs> Sometimes I wished I actually had a status removing move on one of my Pokémon. But on the other hand, I wouldn't actually use it a whole lot and uh, you also need to have that Pokémon in your team. <laughs> and still make this an episode with four battles. 20 minutes in the video already, you still have to do one. <laughs> The swimmer does not have a whole lot of water types. And other than that, the gist is mostly normal types. It would have been nice if Heracross actually had a good fighting type move, but no. So I'm going to be picking Xatu. And I'm going to be picking... Jolteon... Arcanine. Leaving my fighting type out, unfortunately. The battles are intensifying to a fever pitch. This is round four. Yeah, for this battle it would have been awesome if Heracross actually had the fighting type move. Now this is what we have to work with. Xatu versus Tauros. Attract. Oh, the Satu is a female. <laughs> I suddenly noticed. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to leave. I'm not going to be able to use Satu against this Tauros anymore. We'll see you again later, I guess. Because now you're not going to be able to use Attract anymore. <laughs> you're thrashing. It's going to make you confused in a moment, but I don't feel like I'm going to be alive for long enough for that. To damage you really quickly. Good one. It's going to be useless. Because it's not going to heal enough HP. <laughs> Time for me to actually get a defensive stand. Okay, good call. He was indeed able to break through his confusion. Now let's hope your confusion will kick in. Otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah, it still will. Well, it was worth a shot. It was not a very good shot. <laughs> Jolteon. Tatu is still in love with this ball, so not an option. Thunder. Okay, Xatu's love falls, and therefore she's also an option to pick again. <laughs> the next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Two against two. Oh, with my chance! Xatu is a good option here. But let's try to win this battle with Jolteon first. Pokemon remain on each side. You can always switch later if necessary. Oh, it <laughs> looks like it's going to be necessary. <laughs> hey, hey, it's now we're getting a female attract. Huh. Well, okay. time to go to my female then. You're not going to be able to play that trick Trainer against Xatu. <laughs> she was already in love with the Tauros. <laughs> oh, Ice Punch, you knew I was going to switch to my flying type. <laughs> so predictable. For my end. <laughs> Goodbye. There it is. Just one Pokemon remains. That is going to be. Oh, new tank. There was a pretty big now. chance it was going to be a normal type the after all. Tentacruel would have been nice, but let's go work with this. I need three of these. 
your answer. You've got thunder. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. I don't think it's going to matter for you. I will put one more Psychic, kick, then you're almost going to be gone. Jolteon can finish it next turn. Oh, stomp. Well, it's also going to be enough. I barely have anything to survive, so... <laughs> I therefore won't. Oh. Press the correct button, please. Do you need to be careful for attract, I think? We are opposite sex now, and so far all your Pokémon knew attract. <laughs> Let's finish this immediately. A lot quicker than the battle before this. You did not have to deal with annoying double team this time around, so... <laughs> Another one Pokémon victory, two Pokémon fell. Proving the difficulty of Master Ball here. And that is definitely present. Next time we're going to be continuing. Uh, this one has gone long enough. Time for me to actually take a quick break, and I will see you next time. Treeks out! Let's hope we can win this.